Hi there, hope you are doing all right. Today I'm going to take a look at the M1 MacBook Pro. I'm going to connect the Fireface UCX audio interface and in addition my Moog synthesizer behind me here. I'm going to connect everything to the M1 MacBook Pro, install drivers and uh, yeah, just try to fire it up and see how it works in real time while trying to film this and put it on to YouTube. I don't consider myself an expert in everything uh, in regards of the gear here and uh, the inner workings of everything. I'm just going to go the basic route now. I'm going to just to try to set it up, make it uh, create some sounds. Hopefully that will show you how this works together and uh, maybe help you make an informed decision if you are considering buying anything of uh, this stuff. Let's uh, take the camera down and uh, yeah, see if we can get this uh, working. So the Fireface UCX audio interface is connected using a uh, USB cable and uh, for now it's connected to my desktop PC uh, standing on the floor here. That's the PC I mostly use when uh, producing music. And the laptop is really just uh, kind of an uh, office uh, laptop for me. Uh, but of course I realize that some, some of you may just use this laptop for everything. And if you use it for music production, it would be pretty nice to see how this works on this uh, machine. This laptop only have USB-C connectors. We have to use uh, this kind of uh, dongle um, like so. So uh, I have to connect the uh, Fireface interface into the USB connector into this dongle which then goes into USB-C here into the uh, laptop uh, here. So I have everything set up here. I'm going to uh, unplug the audio interface from my PC and connect it into here. Uh, download uh, the uh, drivers and uh, see if we can uh, get it up and uh, working. Okay, so if you want the M1 drivers for the RMA Fireface to get installed correctly, you have to do some uh, settings in recovery mode. So you have to turn off your Mac, just turn it off like so. Okay, so it's turned off and now you want to hold down the power button until you get into recovery mode. You can see that it says loading startup, startup options and it's uh, investigating my startup volume. So we have to wait until that is done. And then we have some, this is in Norwegian but it's this button, it's a uh, security something. And we have to select reduced security, like that. And we have to allow uh, user administration of uh, extensions, I think it's called. Uh, it's the first one here, like so. And OK. And we have to type our password again. And when doing this, the drivers should be able to install and you should be able to use the Fireface audio interface on your M1 MacBook MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or if you watch this in the future maybe the M1X or some other M1 based uh, laptop. So now we restart into macOS and install the driver and the audio interface should be working. So here we are, everything is working fine. The microphone is working fine. The audio sounds correct. The RMA Fireface UCX audio interface is working just fine on the M1 MacBook Pro. With that said, I had to go to the RME website and watch this video where it explains how you do live streams with OBS under Mac OS. I had to watch this video to be able to get everything working here and to be able to get logic working as well. As I said earlier, I am no real 
expert in this, I have to sit down and uh, learn everything about Total Mix FX. It's a really powerful software and you can do a lot with it. But today we were going to see how it works in a session. So I'm going to open up Logic Pro here where I have a session loaded up. And um, yeah, we can take a listen to it and you can see how it sounds. I'm going to just reduce the volume a little bit because it's a little bit loud here. And I think we are going to have to add a uh, limiter as well. So let's take a listen. <laughs> So this is the project. I'm just going to see how it works with a external instrument. But before we do that, we can go into the settings and audio settings and take a look what we have here. So I have the Fireface UCX selected here and uh, I think I can uh, turn the IO buffer size down to 32. Let's set it to the lowest possible here and uh, process buffer range. Let's set that to small and uh, yeah let's press apply and see how that works so the tracks here they are only being played with software instruments like serum and things like that this is from the project i had in an earlier video where i wanted to try serum uh, but today we're going to try an external instrument and i have the mog ready to go here so we just press the plus button and we select software instrument here well, we do that even because if it's an external instrument, we have something called external instrument here, and we just select mono because the synthesizer is a mono synthesizer, and we select create. We have to select MIDI destination, and in this case it's port 1, because I have connected the Fireface MIDI interface into the synthesizer. MIDI channel, just leave that at all, and I know that the input is number 5, at least I think it's so. So we can solo this one, and we can add this arpeggio here, and uh, just uh, take a look and uh, see how the external synthesizer sounds. <laughs> So we are getting sound at least from it. I hope it uh, translates to the video as well. So if I just click here, it seems like it's working. So this is the MOG. So let's uh, take these notes and uh, take them down an octave. And while I am playing this, I'm going to just make some adjustments on the synthesizer. On the synthesizer as well. reduce the uh, release okay well it works uh, let's uh, try to add some effects to it to see uh, how that works so I have this uh, this one here we can take uh, Valhalla supermassive so now we have some effects on our mono synthesizer okay so we are have actually getting some crackling sound now Let's 
try and uh, add the other tracks, see how that sounds together. <laughs> It's a mono synthesizer, so we can't play that many notes. Uh, let's uh, just try to delete some of them. Um, see if this will make it sound a little bit better. So, as I said, this is a video where I just uh, show how how it works. It's not really planned that uh, good. Well, let's see if this how this sounds. kind of like that better. All of the notes get some more breathing room, make them a little bit longer. And this. running everything here in uh, low buffer settings so it's 32 here and it's small buffer range so let's maybe try put it up to 64 and medium let's see if we can uh maybe try that Let's try a new one. Yeah, as you can hear, I have really no issues using this in uh, Logic Pro, and it is working pretty good. So, conclusion time. As you can see, the Fireface UCX and the M1 MacBook Pro, they work just fine together. In addition to recording my lovely Mog subsequent 37 CV behind me here, in real time. You just have to follow the instructions on the RME website when you install the driver and you may have to boot your Mac into recovery mode and change the extension settings to less secure. But again, you can just check the RME website. They have a support document that uh, describes the entire process. And I realized that this is not really a long-term test. It's just a quick one to see if it works and 
if it works. So you have to take it for what it is. My main product production computer is a Windows-based PC, and it's going to prob probably be that for uh, a while. Personally, I really like the RME interfaces. They are rock solid, and the drivers are some of the most stable audio drivers I have experienced, and I have tried some of them. They work very well with my Ryzen-based PC, and it seems like it works well on the uh, M1 uh, Mac as well. And in addition to that, RMA, they support their products for a long time. And I think actually this audio interface I have here has been around for maybe close to 10 years now, I think. So the Germans, they make good products. <laughs> I have a German car and a German audio interface. And I think I'm going to stick with that. So with that said, I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, you can share it with others. And uh, the usual stuff, liking the video, subscribing and clicking the bell. And yeah, you know, it helps. So, well, take care out there and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.